Hi, this is Diana. Congrats on taking the step towards boosting your sales on Amazon with sponsored products. With this course, you're already on your way to crush it with Amazon PPC. Today, I'm going to be taking you through step-by-step -step on how to set up and optimize your sponsored product campaigns using a live ASIN so that you can go ahead and do this with your own products. If you implement everything, ideally you will see results like this after a few weeks. If you are new to this channel, you may want to hit subscribe in order to receive more tutorials on how to succeed on Amazon. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm sure by now you've heard that everyone and their grandma is getting into Amazon PPC, but maybe you're not sure what to do. I speak to many sellers on a daily basis, and I know that paid advertising can be a bit intimidating because it feels like it eats up a lot of money. But if done correctly, it can also be a gold mine and give you a real competitive advantage. Some of you might be wondering, why do I even need to do Amazon PPC? Isn't it possible just to make sales organically? Sure, it may be possible. However, it will take longer to generate sales. The thing is that making sales through sponsor products will have a positive effect on your organic ranking. Also, this way you don't have to wait for your product to rank like you would if you just stuck to organic sales. You could have the top spot today, and compared to Google AdWords, there's still a lot of untapped potential to get cheap traffic to your listings. And also, there's many long tail keywords that sellers aren't bidding on yet. In fact, for many competitive products, it's almost impossible to reach the sales velocity that's necessary for a top ranking without driving paid traffic to your listing. Keep in mind that Amazon keeps on expanding the number of ads that show per page, which means that the organic results get less and less exposure. So what are some of the things that you need before you get started with sponsored products? First of all, you need to have a great product and an optimized listing. That means that your title, bullet points, description, and images should be top notch. And also you should ideally have at least a few positive reviews. For that, you can use the Amazon Early Reviewer Program. By ensuring that these first steps are met, then you can be confident that your listing will actually convert and you won't waste money trying to drive traffic to it. All right, let's go through a few concepts and definitions that you'll need to know. PPC, this means paid per click. So every time someone clicks on your ad, you pay depending on your bid. CPC, that's the cost per click the price you pay every time someone clicks on your ad. That usually ranges from a couple of cents to a few dollars. Note that this is not the same as your bid, which is usually a bit higher than the CPC you actually pay. ACOS, that's short for Advertising Cost of Sales. This is your PPC cost divided by your sales revenue. The lower the number, the higher your profit per unit is going to be. There are two different campaign types you can choose for sponsor products. First, there is the auto campaign. With this campaign format, Amazon just picks out any search term that its algorithm thinks will fit your product listing. Then there is the manual campaign. This one will give you more control as you are able to set all the keywords and bids yourself. In order for you to understand the keywords, we need to first explain the difference between search terms and keywords. I often hear keywords and search terms being confused, but they're definitely not the same. Let's break it down. Keywords are the words and phrases that you are going to bid on, and search terms are the words and phrases that shoppers actually search for on Amazon. So when a search term matches the keyword that you've bid on, your ad will appear. The match type options for your keywords are broad, phrase, and exact. Broad means that any search term will match with your keyword that has the words in any order or that is related. With the phrase match, the words have to be in the same order, but there can be anything before and after. Exact match means just what it sounds like. The search term has to be exactly the same as the keywords. Then there are also negative keywords. These are the words that you want to exclude from your campaigns because they aren't relevant to your products and can bring unwanted traffic. So that's all for today's intro video. I hope that you now understand all of the basics that go into running a sponsored product campaign. I'll see you in the next video all about setting the goals for your campaigns. Talk to you soon.